hey guys welcome back to my channel so first of all thank you for like the immense amount of support that you guys are giving me like i just like started posting videos like just a week ago like regularly and i already gained like 71 plus subscribers like the support that i'm getting from you guys is like mind-blowing so thank you guys for that and yeah i just crossed 250 hours of watch time so i don't know like what i'm gonna do with that but what i wanted to say like again thank you guys the support i'm getting i'm really like glad that you guys are helping me with that and some of the comments i like i was going through like i appreciate that whatever you guys are doing with my stuff so thank you and so the other day i was like watching this video that distributive was discussing about like why he started you know like hating technology so basically his point was that like the more he you know de goes deep into any certain technology like he understands work of how it works right and that's where it you know, freaks him out so what my point was that i was like wanted to make a video that why you guys should not you know like use google chrome at all like it's just a malware and a bloatware whatever you want to say but you should never use google chrome guys like i'll give you the reasons like why you should not because if you are a you know linux user or even if you are just a normal general user right like do not just use like this google chrome browser because you never know like what is the future coming up but the future that is going to happen is like very dangerous guys because i'm like guessing that there might be a situation where like even if you want to do like just open up something and search you'll have to send your whole you know data and all that stuff so basically google chrome is just a malware to you nothing else why i'm saying that see uh first of all i want to point out like what are the things that google chrome does so i just like like logged into a google chrome account of mine and what i want to show you that if you go to the settings page okay let me zoom in so if you go to this advanced and the settings the first one that you know uh, bugs me every time is that like continue running background apps when google chrome is closed like why i just disabled it but like why because if i close my google chrome that means i closed it totally right i don't want anything to run in the backgrounds that's shitty right because uh sometimes i like uh you know uh, open my camera just like uh do meets and video calls on teams microsoft teams so maybe my microphone is on right so if it runs in the background like god knows like what this is doing and not only that like you will don't you, you don't find like what are the things like they are doing in this uh, section in the settings page but if you try to find you'll find some of them i'll just show you what are the things that they are doing so in the security page right in the security section you'll see that they are having this you know uh, production something like this that enhanced production and the standard production so like so basically what they does is like checks url and all that stuff so, that's fine that's fine no issues on that at least i'm saying that but the, the thing is like they are saying this so what they're saying that warn you if your password are exposed in data breach so first of all like if you encrypt my password right and then you'd never look into my password then how are you going to judge that like my password is you know breached into something that's my question right they said chrome periodically checks your password against list that have been published online but you are doing like encryption with my passwords and usernames right so how are you going to say that and judge these things and also other things but the main thing if you come to the google activities okay see here's the thing they like the they're taking the web and app activities include chrome history activities from sites apps and devices that use google services so basically they're just monitoring everything on you so basically one and one word that you're a slave to them right and another thing that if you come to their google services you know page and you'll see that uh they have a bunch of like bullshit uh laying here and there so what i will go like i suggested something and i went to this straight of the policy like the privacy policy and look at this guys what they said they said like when you use our services you are trusting us with your information no we're not trusting you we just want to serve the internet and that's it do a job we don't want to sell our data to you and you earn from that we understand this is a big responsibility and work hard 
to protect your information and put you in control what kind of control that's my bigger question and then if like i downloaded this pdf you see uh, they gave this pdf and effectively it was like created by uh, july 1 uh, 2021 so it's fairly new right so i just came to the second page and here you'll see that like, the information that google collects okay see guys they collect information to provide better services to all of our users okay that's great okay okay from figuring out basic stuff which like language you speak to complex things like which ads you will find most useful the people who matter most to you online which youtube videos you might like the information google collects and how the information is used depend on how you use the services first of all i'm a kind of guy who use this youtube like if i go to youtube you'll see that this is my youtube okay this is how it looks totally and if i search for something let's just say i search for distributive it will come over here if i go to this channel i'll see his channel if i open any of the video i'll only see the video because i will see no comments nothing nothing not even the sidebar or the left bar nothing this is how i run youtube because i don't want any kind of recommendation i don't want any kind of bs or anything because i respect my privacy and i respect my time because youtube algorithm cre was created in a way that they want more retention period from you and they are just you guys are just a slave from for youtube right so that's my point that i don't want to be fished in this jargon all that now look at this even if you are not signed into a google account we store the information we collect with unique identifiers tied to the browser that means when you are installing the browser that google chrome browser they are basically key logging you okay so they are like taking what are the devices that you are using what are the you know from where you are using the because these things helps them to maintain their language preferences across browsing sessions so why does it make sense right and it's a 20 inch page you know uh, policy if you want you can go through this right and you'll see like what are the things they're collecting it will blow your mind i don't want to make this video too long so uh, the things that here's the thing the activity in the activity section the activity information we collect may include videos you watch okay great purchase activities okay voice and audio information when you use the audio features wow i mean i have nothing to say guys like because see f like one thing i want to make a point over here that uh i mean like uh first when this uh google that voice uh what what is it yeah so this is this home smart speaker or something so what happened i actually got one okay from a community that was related to like uh developers meet or something so i got one actually okay and believe me or not i literally once used it like when i got it and i turned it on and i just stopped it within two to three minutes that's it guys like i was freaking out of my mind that how much data they were asking right so this is the reason like i never choose these things so maybe if you also you know respect your privacy so yeah you should avoid using google chrome also they have this google strongest security basically it's a protection program that means it's another uh, way of scamming you for your data sensitive information they actually mentioned that that uh, sensitive information so i don't i don't understand like why they do this and why there is no regulation on that like they cannot use it and even like there's this thing even if you create or do something with there so basically let's just say that you are opening a google account okay so they are collecting all the things like email address to receive updates or the things basically they are saying that they collect the content you create upload receive from others using email address that includes like email you write receive photos and videos you save documents receipts you create and comments you make on youtube videos that means they you oh my freaking god you guys are totally like living on a jail guys virtual jail it's more of a like virtual jail and that's the reason i stopped using google chrome like even i 
like uh, the email address that i have from my uh, you know company that email address only works on google chrome yeah that works okay so that's the reason what i do actually like i use like pinewes on my phone okay so i like have a client there in my pinewes uh, device so there i use that email inside that uh, you know isolated chrome so that i don't have to you know give my data to this bs that's it guys so i just wanted to make this video that's why i installed this google chrome so otherwise it was never like intention to download this so what i wanted to suggest you that instead of using google chrome you can use firefox not the like regular firefox after downloading the firefox you need to make this firefox hardened enough so that you become in a safe side position okay so what is hardening that means you set your uh, firefox browser in a way that it is too much strict to the outside internet that means it respects your privacy what does that mean that means you set a privacy strict you set up like all the dns all the proxies and all the stuff like even you like uh, ignore this firefox data collection use you just deny that and block all the pop-up windows and like permission deny all the permissions and all that like and to do that there's a uh, website called ff profile yeah that's a thing so maybe you need to go to that ff profile firefox profile mapper and what you need to do you need to go through this uh, whole section and make a profile that you want guys that means uh, i can make a video on this but mental outlook actually made a video so you might want to go and look that up so what i'm trying to say that you choose what are the things that you require you choose what are the things you need to deny you choose what are the things you want to give to the public and what not to do right because i have uh, some examples that i have this uh, https everywhere browser so that means uh, if i go to a site that is not https enabled it will inform me and i can like take the decision should i go to that website again or not right then i have this uh, u origin blocker see i'm already using if a profile so yeah maybe you should also use that and there's another one called this unhook so what it does basically it's a youtube thing okay so you see there's nothing there's nothing and in the home there's also nothing so this is what it does it hides the home feed it hides the video sidebar it hides the recommendation it hides the live chat it hides the fundraiser and whatnot guys i just enabled the uh video information that's the name or name and the you know thumbnail bar and all that stuff that you know shows in the video so that's what i only enabled other than that there's nothing so it it at least makes me sense that like yeah i'm not giving any data that i don't know right so i'm at least aware of that that like what i'm doing with the internet because there like i can see at least guess that there will be a future where like you are just a slave you are just a slave of the proprietary companies and the software they make okay and one day it will be hell guys believe me or not it will be a hell so please be responsible and make your choice on your own not give your choice or freedom to some other one right so and also if you're not using linux okay if you're not using any like uh GNU slash Linux, uh, free software, open source software. Make sure to use that, okay? Because it will help you to understand the concept, how computer works, how network works, how I mean the how internet works. Because if you don't become, if you don't become a like sensible person of yourself, you're just going to be a slave in the end. So yeah, that's that. And also, if you want to know like more about, I didn't mention these things. So there's this website called. Uh, that point i'll just give the link in the description maybe you want to check this out like the recommendation browsers yeah uh when i talk about the recommended browsers you can use vivaldi you can use mozilla firefox you can use uh, http browsers that's another browser that is coming up so yeah maybe you can also check them out and then this thing guys this is fantastic this blog it's from the gnu.org uh, no, the official blog so they literally explain guys what are the back doors what are the key loggers they actually have like built into the non-free proprietary google chrome browser so the google chrome software is a malware i agree to this so what they're saying that like 
what are the things that have they have this end user license agreement this thing right chrome has a universal backdoor at least google said it does okay so if you if i go to this section of like four of eula i'll see that there's this thing yeah see so maybe you want to look into that and learn like what are the insecurities they are providing what are the like surveillance they're doing what are the backdoors they put into your browser so if you understand these things you'll you'll like start to hate and fear that what are the things that they are doing with your life guys so yeah make yourself like out of this thing and live a happy life also this is another blog like where like it is totally explained i actually went through this blog so basically this blog is giving you all the details that like uh, you should need to have to like uh, at least get out of this you know evilness of google, google chrome so yeah make sure to you know check this out because instead of using google uh, google search engine you can use DuckDuckGo. you can use you know matomo software that's an open source software that's a search engine another search engine that is like weeb.me that's a very good uh, search engine actually uh, i should describe what it does so basically let's say i want to learn something okay let's just say i'm i want to learn kubernetes guys okay so i hit kubernetes i do search and it will give me all the kind of you know good 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 blogs guys that you will never find on google you know google search engine so yeah if you want to learn something without wasting any time and getting fed by the you know uh seo and the you know money paid uh blogs and the things right so this will make you so much better than a normal normie guys okay and when the more you learn the more you will become you know confident about yourself and how you use your internet right so that's about that and yeah this guy i think uh, wrote the blog yeah so that's about it guys and if you like this video please you know uh, if you have any questions or you know suggestions please drop them out in the comment section and if you like this video please let me know like this video and yeah do the subscribe and i'll show you in the next video also guys one more thing that i'm actually uh, moving to another city so i might not be able to post like videos for three to four days but after that i'll be back again okay so yeah that's it good night